everyone. I hope you're all safe and well and ready for another French family learning challenge. Today the challenge is going to be a scientific one. So grab your family, put your thinking caps on and let's get started. For today's challenge you will need a penny, some water and a medicine syringe. Don't worry if you haven't got one of these at home because there are lots of other ways that you can do this. But in my experience, where there's a family, there's a cowpaw syringe. Other medicines are available. Okay, so now for the big question. How many drops of water will fit on the surface of a penny before it spills off onto the table? So here's my attempt. Fill your syringe with water, or get some water on your finger, ready to drop onto the coin. And slowly, counting as you do it, add the drops to the surface of the penny. What do you notice happening? Are the drops staying separate or are they joining together? Do you notice what shape the water is making on top of the penny? Is it flat or is it curved? Do you know why the water doesn't spill off? How many drops will fit on the penny before it spills? Let's find out. In order to complete this challenge in a scientific way, I've made myself a table. I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually going to try it three different times and then find the average amount of drops that fit on the penny before it spills. Once you've done that, you might like to have a go at looking at some other coins. I think because the 5p is smaller, less drops will fit on it. But maybe you can check and find out. I wonder if the metal that the coin is made from makes a difference to how many drops can fit on it. Bonus points for anyone who can work out what this coin is. Here's another one. Can you work out what country they're from and how much money they are? Here are some coins I found in my house. Can you work out which ones I couldn't find? Another thing you might like to try is using different fluids from around the house. Can you get the same amount of drops when you're using fairy liquid? Or olive oil? Now, when you've finished, don't forget to wash your hands thoroughly or use alcohol hand gel because coins can be quite mucky. Have fun. Okay, so that's today's challenge. I hope you guys all have lots of fun being scientists and investigating my question. And I'll see you back here at six o'clock for a scientific bedtime story. Have fun.